I ran into Dollar Tree and grabbed a few um, containers and storage supplies to put some of our school supplies in. And in my Walmart grocery pickup haul, I did all of our school supplies. That way we didn't have to physically go into the store. Minnesota has a mask mandate right now. Statewide, you have to, everybody has to wear them. So just avoiding that made it easier. Didn't have to go in the store. Got it all. Um, taking care of all of our supplies pretty much for the year. Um, this is not curriculum. It's just um, supplies needed to do school, but I will show you what I got. So here's everything I got for um, this coming homeschool year. Mind you, I still have a, probably a hundred brand new pencils that I ordered off Amazon at the end of last year. I still have more glue and more crayons and workbook and stuff workbooks and stuff so this is just what I needed for now so over here this little section is all Dollar Tree um obviously everything is a dollar I spent thirty dollars at Dollar Tree plus tax um I just grabbed this little basket bin with the handle so if I need to put stuff in to carry I have that I got two of these square bins with handles for storage I got four these are just like shoebox shoebox size here storage with lids and then two of these I like these because um, you can put a few boxes of crayons in here and the sides snap up so that makes it easier to where they're not falling all over the place and then I got four of these gray collapsible storage containers I do have a bookshelf where I keep their school stuff and I get fresh ones of these every year that way they can put their stuff in them school stuff and it's kind of out of sight um, so like I said I got four of those I needed some more chalk and then I like these for teaching time comes in a pack of four and then I got a two pack of pens for me my first grader, I just got her this to help her with her writing skills. Um, an eight pack of pens. Like I said, I still have tons of pens and pencils, but it's always nice to get some fresh ones. Um, little flags I need for bookmarking, schoolwork and stuff for the kids and stuff that I need to go over with them. So that comes in handy. And then I got one reading and phonics book, a regular phonics and a learning activity workbook. These are just little fun filling things when I'm busy with another kiddo and I can't sit with them and help them with their other curriculum. I usually give them things like this to keep them busy. And then I got, I threw away all my older other flashcards because they were just scattered in a mess. So I got fresh flashcards. I got compare and contrast, division, the alphabet um, with animals on them. Colors and shapes, this is mainly for like my grandsons for preschool. A subtraction and then sight words. And then I got some tape refills and some colored index cards. And that's all I got from Dollar Tree. So that was like I said, $30. And then from Walmart, I got 12 notebooks. Um, some are college ruled, some are wide ruled. They were 25 cents each. And then I got eight glue bottles. These are four for a dollar, a quarter each. And then three of my kiddos needed some pencil boxes. These ones have the additional top thing. These were $1.97 each. And then we have lots of paint, but I grabbed this because it was only $3.97. It's got 10 colors and it's washable. So even if the grandsons or my littles are painting, if it gets anywhere, it's easy to come off. Um, just one pack of colored pencils just for backup because I did not too long ago buy a really big set of colored pencils. This was 25 cents. Four boxes of crayons. Mind you, I still have some, but these are just fill-ins. Um, these were 25 cents each. I got four. And then I got three of the classic skinny markers. These were also 25 cents each. Two packs of these washable markers. These were 50 cents each, two for a dollar. I needed some staples, 
could not find them at Dollar Tree anywhere. So I ordered them in my Walmart grocery haul. They were only 97 cents. Um, I have one kiddo left at home that's left-handed. My two olders are left-handed. So I finally found her some left-handed scissors. Um, these were, I believe, $2.47. And I'm cool with that because she needs left-handed scissors. Um, I usually get the Dollar Tree tape dispensers, which work totally fine. But I thought, you know, I will try one from Walmart. It was $3.97. So I got that, and that will work great with my Dollar Tree refills. And then I still have loose leaf paper, so I only grabbed one. It was $0.97. Cents. Um, my, one of my high school kiddos got this five-subject notebook. This one was $2.97. This way she can do most of her subjects just all in here. And then 240-count, 10 colors of construction paper. This was $4.47. So there's a lot in there. There's a ton. And then I got four of the Crazy Art washable watercolors. These were $0.97 cents each. Um, four more rollers just because they seem to grow legs and walk and I can't never find them. These were only $0.25 cents each. And then for my three youngers, I like the primary journals because they can do a picture and write a story. Like if we're outside, they can draw a picture of what they're seeing and then write a story about it. These were $2.97 each, and I got three of them. And then my olders, I got this composition book and this one, and they were $0.50 cents each. And I did grab another pack of Bic pens, and that there was 10 of them in there for $0.97. Cents. And I spent, like, I think it was $42 at, on my Walmart grocery pickup. I got all this in my Walmart grocery pickup today. And then with the Dollar Tree, so I spent a total of $72 school supplies for the year and storage of these supplies. Um, yeah, so it wasn't too bad for, let's see, there's five kiddos still in school at home. And then this does not include my curriculum haul, which I will be uploading once I get that.